In the historical side, pipa actually came from Central Asia 2,000 years ago through the Silk Road trade. And uh, the tonality and the musical language, the vocabulary right now developed very much Chinese. Men sinetkar ailede tuğuldum. Kiçigim dula ailede dadamdan dutar, her kıl çalı asaplarının avazlarını anlat çoğun. Şu arkalık kıyamın dutarım bilen daim bir de muqam edimen, bir de halık nakşıdan uğurlayımen. I grew up in China, in an um, urban city, uh, which is near Shanghai. We do heard some Uyghur traditional music when I was little, um, but never uh, really close, that close to hear people sing right next to me. Most of the time, because the tuning is different, I do have to tune lower. I, I try to match their instrument, try to match uh, like dutar. But when you find the tuning, um, and immediately you just go with it. And then, of course, there are a lot of improvisation involved. Um, I try to learn the pattern um, they have. So mostly, if they have a, a line to sing, and there's a space always waiting for other instrument to to fit in to fill that space. Like you know, if say, uh, and then and then or always like that. My experience was, to me, was very natural. Uh, I didn't feel uh, the difficulty or, or kind of awkward. To me, it's music and um, the style um, merged very, uh, quite well. This project, to me, very much like rediscovery again. Oh. 